and back today to be the queen of single book reviews. Hi everyone, I'm here today to review one book today and um, that is this one. This is A Simple Wish by Rosie Goodwin. You may remember that I've reviewed a few of Rosie Goodwin's books in the past, been quite a fan of her previous work and I've enjoyed all the different ones that I've read. And so when I was offered the chance to read her new book, A Simple Wish, I jumped at the chance. So as you might guess by the cover, this is a historical saga and um, it's set in winter time, which makes it perfect for winter reading for me. And um, basically the storyline follows Ruby. We are at the end of the 1800s and Ruby Carter works for her family's bakery. And Ruby's mum always tries to protect Ruby from the cruelness of Ruby's father, who is just not a very nice man at all. However, Ruby's mum falls on hard times and is seriously ill, and um, whereby she makes a deathbed confession that Ruby actually isn't their child after all, and Ruby is an adopted child. After this, Ruby is left in the care of her abusive father, and um, times are really hard for her. She's now completely alone in the world with a violent man that she's been forced to call her father, who she now knows isn't actually biologically related to her. And so Ruby feels that she has no other option but to flee her situation and run away. She's only a very young girl. She's only 15 years old, but now she's completely alone in the world and homeless. And um, she's grief stricken and dealing with all of these emotions. And she's scared. She's therefore primed and ready for anybody who may have sort of slightly nefarious ideas. And so she's overjoyed and ready to jump at the chance when she's offered a place to live by a Mrs. Bamber. However, Mrs. Bamber is one of those nefarious characters that we did not want to come in contact with Ruby and her um, benevolence towards Ruby is not quite as it seems. We soon find out that Mrs. Bamber has only taken Ruby in in order to serve her own needs as um, she forces Ruby into a life of crime as a jewel thief. And so Ruby finds herself in yet another impossible situation that she doesn't know how she's going to get out of. And so it goes completely against Ruby's nature to have to do these acts. However, she does it because she has no other option, or so it feels to her at the time. And so Ruby ends up swept up into another part of life that just isn't the sort of life that she wants. Um, inside, Ruby isn't the sort of person who fits easily into a life of crime at all, but circumstances have pushed her this way. But, and all Ruby really wants is to find her biological family and be reunited with them. Now, I do love dipping into a historical saga as the nights get colder. Um, it is just such a nostalgic thing for me. I really, really enjoy this type of book at this time of year and so I very easily slipped into Ruby's story. As I've come to love from Rosie Goodwin is the fact that all of her stories seem to have these characters that are extremely three-dimensional. They are the type of characters that stick with you long after the final page closes and they feel very real to you. And obviously that made me care all the more about what happened to Ruby and about Ruby's journey through life. Goodwin's previous books have been filled with that sort of gut-wrenching emotional feeling and the roller coaster of life. And A Simple Wish was no exception. It really packed a very emotional punch for me as I went through the book. I found that even as I put the book down to go and do other things when I couldn't be reading, um, I found that I was still sinking back into Ruby's story in my head and wondering where it was going to go next. This book's filled with heartache and longing and the sense of searching for where you belong. And despite the heavy storyline, I did find this to be a relatively comforting read and I enjoyed being snuggled up on my sofa in front of the fire with this book. It's full of twists and turns and the language used and the way that the scene was set, I felt that I was transported into a world that I already knew. I have to be honest, I think this might be my favourite book that I've read by Rosie Goodwin so far. And after reading this one, I'm extremely excited for any future books that Rosie Goodwin brings out because I know I'm going to really enjoy them. This was a brilliant read for me and um, I can't wait to put it on the shelf with the rest of my Rosie Goodwin collection. And um, yeah, I'm just really pleased that I was given the chance to review this one. So um, this is a short and sweet one book review so I'm going to go now um, but as usual I'd like you to let me know if you have read this one if you go into it and if you enjoy historical saga as a whole and um, I'll speak to you all soon bye for now